Right, so there's three more people we can easily lose. And then there's Tom Sinkowski. He's useless. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Here's a peculiar. Uh, Milton Wadhams. Who's he? You know, squirrely looking guy, mumbles a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we can't actually find a record of him being a current employee here. I looked into it more deeply, and I found that apparently what happened is that he was laid off five years ago, and no one ever told him about it. But through some kind of glitch in the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. Mm. Great. So uh, Milton has been let go. Well, just a second there, Professor. We, uh, we fixed the glitch. So he won't be receiving a paycheck anymore, so it'll just work itself out naturally. Okay. We always like to avoid confrontation whenever possible. Problem is solved from your end. <laughs> um, I'd like to move us right along to a Peter Gibbons. Now, we had a chance to meet this young man, and boy, that's just a straight shooter with upper management written all over him. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Yeah, uh, he's been real flaky lately. And I'm just not sure that he's the caliber person that we would want for upper management. He's also been having some problems with his TPS reports. I'll have this here. We feel that the problem isn't with Peter. Mm -mm. It's that you haven't challenged him enough to get him really motivated. There it is. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just not sure about that right now. Yeah, Bill, let me ask you a real quick question here. How much time would you say you spend each week dealing with these TPS reports? Yeah. Uh, 